Okay, so I am Leah Desange. I'm an audiologist, and today we are going to go over a visual check of a rechargeable BTE. BTE stands for Behind the Ear Hearing Aid. This is the ear mold. It is the part that goes down into the patient's ear, and it is custom fit to their ear. This is the tubing. It connects the ear mold to the tone hook. This is the tone hook. It connects the tubing to the body of the hearing aid. And this is the body of the hearing aid, where you'll often find controls for volume and program changing. If it is a rechargeable hearing aid, you will see the contacts that go down into the case. This is the case. The contacts will connect into the charger like this. So the first thing that you're going to want to look for visually is on the ear mold. You want to make sure that there are no cracks, that there's no debris like wax stuck in any of the portions of the ear mold, um, and that there is no moisture that is hiding out in any of the vents. Once you've cleared the ear mold, then you want to look at the tubing and also check for any kind of cracks, any kind of moisture, or any kind of blockage in the tubing itself. Once you've cleared that, then you want to look at the tone hook and you want to make sure that, again, there's no cracks, um, there's no fractures in the casing, um, and that there is no debris that has made its way up into the tone hook. You also want to do a quick visual check of the case of the ear, the hearing aid, and you want to make sure that there's no breaks or corrosion, um, that there's nothing that's covering the contacts for the batteries, um, and that just generally overall it is clean, um, making special attention to pay uh, to view the microphones as well, which are these little pieces. Um, and you also just want to do a quick check of the toggle switches to make sure that they are functioning appropriately. 